Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Last time, we celebrated the oh-so-lovable Croc's birthday. <laughs> and I got some sweet revenge. Oh yes, I did. Okay, now I'm just starting to sound creepy. This time, we are celebrating a very different kind of, well, celebration. Today is the Fireworks Festival. As you can see, they are going up. Yeah, I don't know why this isn't held in July. I mean, I know that they want to be, like, consistent across all countries. Not everyone's got Independence Day, but still, you know what I mean. Uh, we got a letter right here from Rocco. Oi, Emil, have you tried to use the stationery before? I thought it looked stylish, and I liked it, so I bought it, and I'm giving, it, bleh, I'm giving you the means, so write me back. Gahaha, <laughs> Rocco. So he's got some stationery. Now, this other letter I've already read, but I wanted to save it for the next update, because I liked it a lot. Uh, Kruk began to send a letter the exact same way, Oi, Emil, but how have you been feeling lately? If you're worrying about something you can't talk about face-to-face, -face, just ask for my advice in a letter. It might help. Just try it. <laughs> oh, he has no idea the floodgates he has opened up by saying that I can send any of my croc-related worries straight to the man himself. Oh, that is amazing. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, empty out my mailbox really quick. And there we go! So today is the fireworks festival! What does that mean? Well, first off, my town is a little messy. That's not really directly related to the fireworks festival, though, so that was a weird way to introduce that. Thing is, I haven't had a whole lot of time to play lately. I still turn it on every day and talk to my animals to make sure nobody moves away. But I haven't really had a whole lot of time to, like, sift through my new items. That's why I have all these gyroids right here and why my town might look a little bit messy, so... Pardon my dust, I'm still renovating a little bit. I still do want to, like, you know, organize all my flowers and all that good stuff, but... Uh, during the month of August, your Nookling store is going to look a little bit different. As in, one shelf is going to have some different items on it. You are not going to have fortune cookies available for purchase all the time, unfortunately. Right here we have a sparkler. Okay, so that's a limited time offer. Uh, we'll go ahead and purchase that. And uh, as for the other item, this is actually one of my personal favorites out of any item in Animal Crossing, the Fountain Firework. Okay. So, you know, we got some rather fireworky type items just kind of sitting around here in the store, and they do some interesting things. How about we go out to the town and I show them off to you? Okay, so starting this off, let's check out the sparkler. It is an item that you hold in your hand. It is a piece of equipment, so you will cycle between it whenever you are, uh, well, hitting the sides on the D-pad. If you're to use it... Oh, that is so cool. It's like a Roman candle. Actually, I'm pretty sure that is what it is, but yeah. You'll get nice little sparkles and all that until it burns itself out and, yeah, it just kind of disappears from your inventory. Uh, as for the uh, fountain sparkler, uh, let's go on to concrete to use because you probably wouldn't want to use this on grass in real life, just saying. <laughs> you drop it on the ground and upon doing so, it activates. Yeah, it is an item that activates by being dropped on the ground. You can't pick it back up, unfortunately, so it'll just kind of sit there for a while just doing that. And, uh, yeah, you can drop like one on either side of you and have like a rock concert. Uh, pretty much does it though. Once it's used up, it is a used firework. You cannot use it again. So it's not, you can drop it an infinite number of times. Oh, oh bulletin board. Uh, let's see what it says. Uh, that was weird. Uh, the fireworks show you've been waiting for starts uh, 7 p.m. tomorrow night. That was posted yesterday, so that's all good. Okay. Now, during the fireworks show, of course, you got the fireworks going off in the sky. I kind of wish you could have the camera like this by, def um, by default. Like, if you change like a setting like that, you could just, you know, have this be the default camera angle because. It's kind of a shame you can't really look up at the sky, but then again, it's better than the first Animal Crossing where you can only see them reflected in the water. Uh, during the festival, here we got uh, Isabel looking rather summery. Aw, oh, that's such a cute shirt for her to be wearing. Okay. So she's prepared special gifts as always. Okay. My secretary continues to give me free stuff. When you wear that bulb bobber, you'll shine just as bright as the fireworks. Okay. So that sounds nice and fun. Let's go ahead and put that on. I know it's not going to be beating up my royal crown anytime soon, though, but yeah. I can do that, and I can look like I'm some kind of bug alien from another dimension or something like that. <laughs> um, I'm just laughing to myself a lot this time. Okay, let's um, talk to you, Red. Hey there, cousin. Thanks for popping by tonight. I have Red's cookies sp specially made with the help from the Nooklings for the fireworks show. Every cookie has a price ticket that costs only 500 bells. Would you like to buy one? I bet you would. So, this is presumably where all those fortune cookies that you normally would have bought at the Nookling store have gone this month. Yeah. Every Sunday, Red is going to be here in the plaza, and, uh, yeah, you can eat this cookie, it'll give you a ticket, and, uh, you gotta bring them back before the festival is over. If you do that, you can get yourself some really cool items, and there is, in fact, one item that you can get tonight that is incredibly useful. Uh, how useful? Well, uh, you'll see in just a moment once I have bought a bunch of these, because I got a, quite a bit of cookie eating to do before I can get it, I would assume. 
I got bit by a mosquito. They really got the atmosphere for a real fireworks show in the summer down pat. <laughs> Let's open these things up. What does my first cookie say? Uh, a prize slip inside, okay. Too bad you got a dud prize. Ah. Well, I guess that's tough cookies. I got a Kaboom prize. Well, Kaboom gets the tough stains out, so that's good. So, those dud tickets will get you a bunch of sparklers. Also, my OCD is kicking and I need to open this present from Pietro that I got the other day. Uh, bone pants. Okay. Yeah, uh, you just get a bunch more sparklers from those. Um, you know, if you like that item, I guess that's fine. But, what do you get for the big prizes? And funnily enough, you actually can get a quite literal Roman candle after what I was saying earlier. If you use this, it's a little bit different, I suppose. But not really all that different, I guess guess. I don't know where I was really going with that, but yeah, that's what it looks like, and just like the other one, it simmers out. You can get all kinds of furniture items. First off, I got an Ultra Scope right there, then a miniature car, a Love Tester, a 10 billion barrel, whatever that means, an Ultra Hand, an Ultra Machine, and there we go. That is the prize that you really want, the lovely phone. Why is that one so important? Well, you'll see a little bit later. I'm pretty sure that's all the items. If I'm wrong, you'll see whatever I missed on screen right now. So, uh, we'll be going over what those items actually look like and why the lovely phone is just oh so important at the end of this video, but, um, it's been a while since the last update. What have we missed? Well, first off, I don't think we saw the inside of Fang's house and he happens to be home right now, so, uh, how about we go talk to him? Wow, um... Really nice place you got here. I mean, the hospital bed's a little bit out of place, though, but I think I gave that to him. Uh, yeah, let's talk to you. Same things every day, your body will get your soul will get stale. New challenges! New people! We need adventures! Let me spice things up around here. We got some visitors or someone moved from into town. Okay. Well, we have ten animals living in here right now, and yes, I did say ten, not nine. I'm here to report that we had nobody move out in the past month. Thankfully, I could not go through another heartbreaking random goodbye to somebody that never told me they were moving because we actually had somebody new move in. Kit. I gotta say, the kangaroos in Animal Crossing are among my favorites. Look at the little one right there. Yeah, her face mirrors it. Like, it has the same expressions and everything. Look at that. Isn't that just the most adorable thing? It just... Uh, it's a shame we can't really have a real conversation with Kit. It's also a shame that she isn't home. She moved in right near where Kid Cat was, and I still haven't gotten around to adjusting the flowers for that, but... Uh, like... Seriously, I'm so happy I have a kangaroo. She might not be, like, the most interesting-looking animal, though, but she's adorable. That's really all you need. And, uh, why not? Because you're in the area. Hello, Shari. Uh, Summer and Palette can't beat it, Cheeky, she says. <laughs> uh, I guess there isn't really anything else for me to do than just check to see if a certain, uh, person is home. Let's see. Sure enough, uh, Annabelle is home. Which, by the way, Annabelle, why did you move in right here? Like, in front of the police station? Uh, I don't know. Somehow in real life, I would imagine moving in, like, right in front, building your house right in front of the door of a police station would be against the law. Just saying. Alright, let's see. I don't think we saw the interior of your house. Um, so yeah. Annabelle the Anteater? Yeah. Uh, let's talk to you. What a mysterious look in those Gracie glasses you're star on the run, aren't you? Where are the paparazzi in, my, in town? Because I'm totally ready for my close-up, Snorty. <laughs> Alright. Well, um, you know, her house is really nice looking, got kind of a green theme to it, but, uh, thanks to yours truly, I gave her the most adorable item to have in her house ever. Look at that, she has an ant farm. <laughs> yeah, when you drop ants in your house, they appear as an ant farm, and I just thought that was too perfect to not give her to put in her house. So, uh, like... I don't know, just like there's something so adorable about an anteater just having an ant farm in the house. It's like, um, she like sits on the uh, couch and like, you know, eats that in place of like a bowl of ice cream. It's so adorable. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's really all I wanted to go over that is new here in town. That's really all there is to say about the fireworks festival. There's one of these every Sunday in August, but this is the only time that I'm actually making a video about one. So how about we get to those items? I think the basement with all my random junk and street passy items is kind of the place to go over these. Okay. So we got an Ultra Machine, which is a baseball pitching machine. Uh, put a hole in my wall right there, which is impressive because we're in the basement. Next up, we have, uh, I didn't actually, oh, the miniature car. 
Which is a reference to Gracie's car in the original Animal Crossing. She would park a car in your town and you had to wash it for her. That's what that car is. It has, like, leopard... Or, uh... Not leopard. Cheetah-like seats. Uh, the 10 billion barrel is just some weird-looking Japanese lantern-type thing. Uh, the Ultra Hand... Is interesting enough, I suppose. And then the Ultra Scope... Is, uh... That's... Interesting, to say the least. Next up, we have the Love Tester. And uh, aside from the lovely phone, that's all the ones I got. Now, you might notice these are all Nintendo references. That is a Nintendo brand pitching machine that they made before they made video games. The Ultra Hand was a toy that they manufactured, which I'm sure you've seen a few times. They made the Love Tester, all that good stuff. So we got quite a few Nintendo references here. Now, what was so special about the lovely phone? Well... You put it down, and it fits right in with the Lovely series. It's actually not part of the Lovely series. You don't need it to get all those points. But... Hello, this is the automated fortune-telling phone telephone service. Today's fortune for Ares is... The money monkey is smiling down. You mean Donkey Kong and Mario Party? Rather than holding back, maybe you should smile back at him. You bet! I'll give Donkey Kong a great big grin to rival his. Ha ha ha. I don't bring you luck today is a watermelon tea. So, this lovely phone will tell you your lucky item every single day. You don't need to have Katrina in your town or anything like that. It also works for free once you have it, so you don't need to pay a fortune teller or anything like that. Really useful item. Uh, so, that that pretty much is it, actually. This actually feels like a bit of a short video. Um, this is our first update in August, so I'll be sure to show on screen right now what the new catches for this month are. And aside from that, what are we going to be missing before the next update? Well, nothing, because our next update is, I think, August 8th, actually, for Chester's birthday. How fitting, I got a picture of the little guy right here. Aw. Alright, so, next time on Animal Crossing New Leaf. We will be celebrating Chester's birthday with him. And as hard as it'll be to sleep with these bobs on my head, I'm going to bed with him anyway because I got sunglasses to block him out. See you guys then.